2012, at the Democratic National Convention, Madeleine Albright, in an interview with Bloomberg, was asked a question about what women need to see the future. Her answer was simple. What women need is choice. The right choice, to, the right to choose the path and the, the direction that women of that country want to take. The issues facing this country have never been more clear. The pundits have claimed that there is a war on women, and the issues have never been more critical. The issues facing women? First, the national dialogue that men and Republicans have chosen to take in this country. Senator Aiken made a comment that true rape had a way of shutting things down. Senator Paul Ryan, now, now his presidential candidate Paul Ryan, said that rape is a form of contraception. Critical resources are being, are being threatened by our country. Planned Parenthood funding is being threatened to be cut, and yet we look at things that are being critically fought for, for things such as birth control and for the right to health funding for breast cancer prevention. The privacy for women in reproductive situations is at stake. So what is at stake nationally? First, women have a choice to keep a pro-choice Democratic Senate. It looks like, luckily, the polls have shown that we can do that. In the state, we have a critical issue, Amendment 6. The issue threatens the very imp imp to impose restrictions on funding for areas that are currently already under, under war fair by the Republican Party. Women's rights every day are being threatened. Nationally, there's an issue, and women have the right to take that stance. So what can women do? In the 2008 election, 65.7% of the people who voted for the president were women. So the answer is simple. What can women do? Women can vote. That is the most important thing. If you have not had a chance, or if you aren't unsure about the issues, take the time to look them up. You can go to Gotta Vote, G-O-T-T-A, V-O-T-E, if you want to find out the opportunity about how to register to vote and face that critical deadline by October 9th. If you're not sure of the issues, take the time. It's important to do that. There are things like Amendment Vote Nixon 6, which is a, currently a pro-choice movement to fight Amendment 6, and there are other critical issues that are being addressed. So take the time to educate yourself, vote, and make sure to spread the word. That's what women can do, and that's what's at stake.